Chefs and culinary students from across the country are set to compete in the National Food Showdown 2011. Now, to tell us more about it, we have in the studio today Mirna Sigismundo, the overall chairperson of the National Food Showdown, and Sonia Vojusek, the general manager of the Peninsula Manila. Now, Lexi is also on the other side of the studio, lucky gal, with some of the participants of this prestigious culinary event. Good morning. Hi, Paolo. Good morning. Good morning. This is, this is such a great... Uh, uh, how would you call it? Well, it's a showdown. I mean, it's, 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 it's a showdown. Let's 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 uh, give everybody a, an overview of what's going to happen. It's an annual culinary reunion. Okay. And um, cooking Olympics, mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. um, that TV Food Chefs of ABS-CBN has right. been organizing for the past five years. Mm -hmm. um, it's the only nationwide event right. that makes the rounds of the major uh, cities in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao through uh, one of its main events called Chef Wars. Uh -huh. But of course. There are all these other competition service as well as cooking competitions for both students and professionals um, you know who, who vie for top honors and medals during the National Food Showdown right. happening in September okay uh, it's great that we have uh, you know uh, well a leading <coughs> pardon me <coughs> a leading hotel um, involved uh, really in, in uh, the whole showdown uh, um, yes idea. well actually um, we, we wanted to have a representative mm -hmm. from uh, you know the um, the professional division from uh -huh. the hotel establishments to basically discuss um, what impact you know this sort of events have on on the hospitality industry right and miss uh Vodusek, Sonja, who's the uh, general manager of the peninsula has quite a few entries um in in uh, in the national food showdown um, as well as many other hotels and and schools right and so um it would be nice to hear from her what this is obviously doing for uh -huh. them uh, in the industry. I'm, I'm sure it really does raise the bar, doesn't it? It raises the level, doesn't it? Uh, so. Absolutely. We, I mean, we're very privileged to have this, um, you know, uh, opportunity to be able to, uh, you know, contribute mm -hmm. to the, um, you know, to the showdown. And after five years, I mean, I can see this going on for many more years to come. And mm -hmm. uh, the hospitality industry as a whole welcomes this. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just provides, um, you know, a caliber of individual and employee that can work anywhere domestically or internationally. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, well, uh, the, the, it's arranged, or rather, it's uh, broken down into regions, isn't it? I mean, yeah. that's, that's, that's how it works. Uh -huh. um, there, there you, have your, you have your entries, and uh, those entries are judged and uh, are chosen as uh, the, the, the top uh, winners, uh, winners for that region. And then they, do, they, they come out here, um, correct? Is okay. that how it works? All right, no. Um, the National Food Showdown is like the umbrella event okay. Okay. that ma uh, that um, supports many provincial mm -hmm. activities. And this is where we bring the regional food showdowns mm -hmm. via what we call the Chef Wars. Okay. Okay, it's like an Iron Chef thing. Right. And that's the only competition that makes the rounds of the four regions. Mm -hmm. um, uh, for both student and professional divisions, uh, we pick the top winners from each re region, mm -hmm. bring Bring them to Manila okay. to compete for what we call the Battle Royale okay. in the National Food Showdown. But of course, there are other competitions as well. Uh, aside from cooking, there are service competitions like bartending and flair tending. Okay. Now, uh, how has the competition changed over the past? I mean, it's, this is the fifth year. Yeah. Uh, obviously, just chefing and cooking in general has just gotten better and better and better. And people, mm -hmm. uh, it's amazing to see how how um, uh, how would you say? How choosy is not the right word, but how how well informed people are in terms of, of food and beverage yes. and, and and just general uh, you know good eating nowadays. So the, the bar really has well, been raised. It's the proliferation of all these um, culinary schools right. and colleges and universities mm -hmm. offering mm -hmm. HRA programs and even vocational courses mm -hmm. uh, across the country. Yes. Right. That uh, you see a lot of improvement in the culinary landscape and mm -hmm. even in the provinces. Yes. It's amazing what I'm sure you 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 get around uh -huh. and 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 see a whole lot of new things happening food wise right. in in uh, in the countryside and, and that's something that definitely 
uh, will do uh, you know a lot of good for tourism uh -huh. as well as provide um, businesses and employment for for people in in, in, in this field, in this field. Mm -hmm. now uh, the, the, the peninsula has always been one of the top hotels uh, here uh, in, in, the, in Manila in the Philippines of course uh, what would you say is the strong point you guys have quite a few entries uh, in the showdown as well but uh, what are you guys best known for nowadays in terms of your uh, uh, culinary uh, offerings? I would say yeah, we're best known for the um, the quality of the food mm -hmm. and the presentation right. and particularly we have a lot of talented chefs in the hotel mm -hmm. and from um, you know we've got some some a Swiss hotel a Swiss chef um, that's also training a lot of our um, Filipino employees and we've got you know we've got a lot of talent within the hotel that's up and coming and being you know being part of this showdown is just a wonderful way for our chefs to be able to display their talent right. and learn and and bring to the hotel and um, I think our guess our guests are becoming more and more discerning with yes. their flat their taste that's the way I was looking for discerning yes <laughs> and, okay um, and expectations so yeah. you know um, as an industry we have to be at the forefront of mm -hmm. each um, you know, at each stage, and this the culinary is culinary with the Iron Chefs is really taking off in this country, right, and right. it's great to see. There, there is such mm -hmm. an amazing interest in cooking and, mm -hmm. and in enjoying mm -hmm. good food and and, mm -hmm. and uh, good beverage. Now, speaking of chefs showing off, uh, we have uh, a <laughs> few of them uh, in the studio with us, and uh, sorry, one lucky there. gal, Alexi, over there is going to be talking to them, and uh, I think sampling some of the. Uh, uh, offerings that they have with us. What's going on over there, Lexi? If the food's all here, why shouldn't I eat it? I'm shocked that Ron's not even here yet. But I chef, don't, I don't like the way we've split the work here. <laughs> but chef Mirna, these are the, um, I guess, the winners of the chef wars, deba. Right? So we have winners from the national capital region. Raise your hands. Very ang dami. Okay, and from the Visayas region. Okay, asa na yung Mindanao region? Wala, none today. Okay, so maybe we can start with the guys from Marriott. What what is your dish for? It, this is the winning dish, diba? Yeah. Oh, sige, maybe you can talk about it. Uh, for appetizer. Yes. Oh, wag, wag okay, na yan. Uh, for na tayo, the eh. appetizer, we have a braised lamb shank in Moroccan spice. Serve in. Yes, ma'am. This one. Serve in pumpkin cinnamon sauce. And okay. then we have a sweet potato crisp and then cheddar cheese on top. Ang ganda ng presentation. I guess presentation counts for a lot, diba? Especially sa mga showdown. Okay, and then this one and is. For this one, we have a braised lamb shank. In you guys sauce. like lamb, huh? Or uh, did you have to use lamb? Yeah, ah, okay. Ingredient. It was a main ingredient. So you're usually given ingredients to use, or what are the uh, what are the rules that you guys have for chef uh, we wars? We have a pantry list that we can. Uh, put, uh, that's the uh, only ingredients we have. Uh, we can ah, use. so there's a specific pantry list that you have yes. to. Okay, and the main ingredients to. is, uh, for example, for the is lamb uh -oh. shank. Lamb shank. Oh, this is a, obviously this yeah. is a lamb shank. Okay, and from the Visayas region, maybe we can talk about some of the dishes that you have. Is this also from the same from yes. the same thing? So you also did lamb. So we're predominantly no, sorry, um, lamb today. Uh, NCR has different. Uh, we have a different. Um, okay, so the NCR has, had to use lamb. Yes, and then um, we're, I'm the stu um, I'm the coach. I'm okay. the, for the students. Um, okay. And he's for the professional. Okay. And then for us to uh, for the students, we had um, peanut. Okay. Was our ingredient so we had the to main ingredient was, was peanut. peanut. Yeah. Wow, that's so a bit of a challenge, isn't it? It was it was a big challenge because we had to bring out the peanut taste. Okay. Especially, um, you have to bring out the real flavor of the peanut. So uh, it was difficult for us. So we did we had a duo of uh, lumpia. Okay. Well, so, I, while you're talking, I'm sure. eating. Okay. Sure, I hope no problem. You don't find it bastos. No okay, problem go at all. Ahead. <laughs> so and then for uh, for the students, um, our main theme was Filipino. Okay. And then for the for the professionals, I think it was more in Western cuisine. So okay. we had to think of the Filipino mm. dish, we had, to, we had to do something about it. So what peanut dish did you come up with? Uh, what we did is, uh, we have uh, for here, uh, we we had like um, no fried lumpia inside okay. with seafood. I'm listening to you, huh? yeah, no I'm problem. chewing but I'm listening. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> what we have inside is we have peanut inside, we mix okay. with seafood and everything. And here, we have a peanut sauce and inside we also infuse a little peanut also inside. May I have a taste of yes, perhaps please. the... Please. Okay. okay, I will, sorry, I have to go this way. <laughs> yes. Okay. This is our fresh So this lumpia. is the, the... Yes. Okay. And then you can dip with our vinegar. Is this um, local vinegar? Yeah. Uh, yes. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Paolo, you're missing out. <laughs> and this one again is That's a fresh lumpia. We made our fresh lumpia. Okay. And then inside we have like chicken and shrimp, and we have peanut. We have peanut sauce outside. Okay. Yes. And 
For yes. the professional level. Because there are two levels, level. right? So yeah. there's student and then professional. Yeah, it was held in, in Bacolod City okay. for the suburb well, Bisaya. Baco Bacolodians love their food. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm from Iloilo, my, uh, representing Margarita Resto. Okay. So the main ingredient for the professional competition was apples. Apples? So, yeah. It's, it's really very challenging. Mm -hmm. Actually, here I prepared uh, a used ribeye. Okay. It's marinated in apples, apple okay. juice, and then it's potato and apple mush together okay. with an apple reduction. So it's really on the all components of the dish. Mm -hmm. So it's really very challenging. I try to create as many variations uh, with the dish, especially with appetizer, with the mm -hmm. dessert. So it's real. For example, appetizer. Anong ginawa mo for apple? Appetizer. Appetizer. Kasi dessert easy na yun yeah. eh. We oh. created a salad and an apple pong. Mm. And then we have uh, salmon, butter poach, and then it has an apple juice. So really the apples is really present. And then we have a small apple slaw on top of it. Okay. For the dessert, we created an apple tartatan. Okay. So, and then a, f uh, a French uh, chocolate, uh, chocolate souffle. Where's the chocolate souffle? Uh, it's quite challenging to prepare it right <laughs> now. It's, I'm yeah. kidding. Thank you very much. Now Thank the students, oh, don't be shy. Okay, so you guys are the winners, right, from the NCR. Oh, Congratulations. Yes, what you was much. your, um, I guess, because you had a pantry list, right? What was the main ingredient that you oh, had to use? Main ingredient this time was panucha. Panucha, panucha is, came, came from a uh, Chef Mirna, napakahirap naman ng mga to. Okay, yes. So what, is this yours? Yeah, okay. this one is the appetizer. Okay. That one that we dished out, this one is the tuna kilawin. So it's like a deconstructed version of the regular kilawin that, that we Filipinos traditionally yes, correct, know. Correct. So this one has bell peppers, all the colors that you want. And then top, the one different here is the one that you top it with. It's the tabanang tangige that we oh, seldom wow. see in in, mar in markets right now. Okay. So a lot of people doesn't know uh, what that does it it's taste very, like? It tastes, it's kind of fast. For this one, the one we used is the panucha vinaigrette. Okay. The Can I steal some of this? I want to try some of, of them. Of course. And then you've got, what, what is this This right one is the okoy. This ah, one okoy is siya. okoy. And, and this one. one? Yeah. And the one encased inside is chicken liver that we glazed also in panucha. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, well, of course, because you have to have panucha everywhere pretty mm -hmm. much, right? Then this one is called pinais na alimango. Mm -hmm. So it's mm. crab meat. It's really good. It's crab meat. Also, we put in pan panucha inside. And then we steamed it also after getting the crab meat and putting also vegetables topped with mango salsa. Wonderful. Okay, next. Hello, good is, morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, this what one did is you... the main course. Okay, and so, so this panucha also. Yeah, we okay. incorporated panucha like in all of it. Yes, this I can is, see. This uh, one is tamales. Okay. Kumba and then kinatang kalabasa. Okay, beautiful presentation. And of course, my favorite part of any meal is dessert. Yeah, and so localized flavors, yeah. beautiful. Mango spring roll with queso pote. May I steal? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> and with grated panocha inside, and then palm sugar topping, and then mm. sweet potato bibingka. I just get this. <laughs> no, hindi po ay deron. And then this one is ube palitao with roasted sesame seed and sugar. Okay. Are you guys ready for the food showdown? Hopefully. <laughs> are you guys preparing as early as now yes, or are you yes. guys resting? Because it's just Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, the Grand Finals will happen in September 17 and 18. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's really a big competition, <clears throat> an annual event for everyone, both in the schools and in the hotel. But division. of course, we'll have Chef Mirna talk about yes. the, the National Food Showdown coming in September. Okay. Chef? All right, so let's just uh, wrap it up for people here. Uh, it's going to all come together, of course, uh, in, the, in September. 17 and 18 right. at the World Trade Center, okay. a bigger venue now. That's where the, the, the top of the tops really just battle it out, and yeah. we'll find out who comes out on top of the, the right. 2011 uh, mm -hmm. showdown. It's like I said earlier, it's really an annual culinary reunion. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, and this is this really just everybody's happy about this. The, the skill level of the chefs are going up, the people appreciate good food. Everybody happy at the end of this. So uh, best of luck during the food showdown. We're looking forward to the finals. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Chef Mirna Sigismundo and Miss uh, Sonja Vodjusek. Thank you so much for joining thank you. us. Thank you. Our pleasure.